Think like a startup. Because startups change things, and startups shake up the status quo. Now, by the way, you don't have to be small to think small. I'll give you an example. A company called ITW. It's a manufacturing firm, 90-plus years of business, $16 billion in revenue. Not exactly a startup. But they think small. Because every time a business unit at ITW reaches $200 million in revenue, they splice it in half. And their theory is that they'd rather have several little $100 million scrappy business units that are nimble and aggressive and creative than one giant big bureaucratic swamp. Think about the difference between small company thinking and big company thinking. Small companies embrace risk, while big companies tend to avoid it. It's the difference between being urgent and slow moving, creating new ideas versus protecting the old ones. In small companies, ideas bottom up. They come from everywhere. With big company thinking, they're jammed only from the top down. It's the difference between being ideas-centric versus rules-centric, nimble versus bureaucratic, and having a fire-in-the-belly sense of urgency versus becoming complacent.